video, we first introduced the CRISPR-Cas9 system. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. These short palindromic repeats are 20 to 40 nucleotides long and are all identical. They are interspaced with spacer DNA. Spacer DNA are not identical to each other. CRISPR is associated with Cas genes. Cas genes are transcribed and translated to a Cas9 protein, which acts as pillowcase to unwind DNA and nuclease to cat DNA. This system is the immune system of the bacteria, as it happens when bacteriophage DNA is injected into the bacterial cell. DNA is also being transcribed to make CRISPR RNA. CRISPR RNA will fit into a Cas9 protein, which in turn cleaves the bacterial fast DNA to prevent infection of bacterial cell. This system encodes another protein called Cas1 Cas protein. It can break down the bacterial fast DNA and copy the bacterial fast DNA to insert it into the CRISPR system as spacer DNA. This creates membrane to the bacterial fast DNA and prevents the infection of the same bacterial fast. This system can be used as a gene editing technique to target and modify human genome so as to fight or cure genetic diseases and cancer. By inserting human DNA at the site where CRISPR RNA locates in the Cas9 protein, the Cas9 protein functions as nucleus to cut the DNA. This creates deletion mutation that causes the genes to be non-functional. Besides, it can be used to create insertion mutation by inserting a new DNA sequence. So, this system can be used to mutate or fix the genes that exist in some diseases for curing purpose. CRISPR gene editing can be applied to treat many diseases such as Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease are caused by many factors, for example, environmental factors, abnormal function of neurons, and also death of neurons in the slowful brain that leads to progressive memory loss. In brain cells, there are integral membrane proteins that is called as amyloid precursor protein or for short APP. These proteins, um, the APP proteins, will undergo post-translational cleavage by beta secretase firstly and then gamma secretase to produce beta amyloid peptides or A beta peptides. A beta peptides are produced outside the cell or in extracellular space. The cleaving process will continue and produce A beta 42, 4, 5 to 10% of brain white A beta production, and A beta 40 will produce majorly most of the time. The peptides are sticky, chemically sticky, and they are accumulated outside the cell, and this they will self aggregate to form oligomers. The oligomers can be cleared up by antibody by binding of the antibody to the monomers, the peptides, to prevent the aggregation. The oligomers that cannot be cleared up are clumped together with more A-beta peptides and they are joined by other protofibrils and fibrils together with other proteins to form insoluble plugs. The insoluble plugs will get in between the neurons and prevent neurons interaction and this is what causes the Alzheimer disease. This is the gene sequence that code for the main enzymes of A-beta peptide production. Currently, Western Brain Institute is searching for a solution to treat Alzheimer's disease by targeting the APP gene. In particular, the researchers propose to use CRISPR gene editing technology to reduce the activity of beta secretase. The gene that codes for these enzymes is located between the transmembrane domain and glycosylated domain. To treat Alzheimer's disease, brain cell samples of patient is needed, but to take brain cell directly from a living patient is very risky. Instead, now researchers can take samples from patient's skin cell to direct them to form brain cells. The skin cell is taken from patient and then cultured with Yamanaka factors to form IPS cell or stem cell. Subsequently, influential factors and initial factors are added to direct the formation of brain organoid. Brain organoid is a small brain-like structure 
that is that contain the same DNA as the donors or the patient neuron cell. Researcher, researchers now can use this cell to conduct further research on Alzheimer's disease and figure out the solution to treat this disease.